Hello everybody, my name is Ray and welcome to Life is Strange. This game has been requested by a couple of fans and I had it in my library so I figured mm, might as well. No harm no harm playing it. Don't know much about it other than the fact that it's a very graphical story driven game so if I don't talk a lot I'm sorry. Alright, let's jump in and get started. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. If they're affecting the past, too, does that mean there's time travel or... Whoa. It's a very strong start to a game. Let's see how it goes. I mean, she's face down in mud. What hope she's? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's alive. Okay. She's hurry up and get out. What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm. How did I get here? And where is here? Just as lost as you are, sweetheart. No clue. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay, so then you know it's a lighthouse, and then you must know where you are. Excellent. Let's go. What was that? Blackwell, 1910. My. Uh. Well, shit. Well, see how this goes. I'm still stuck on the whole Blackwell, 1910, or Blackwell Academy, 1910 thing. So, am I currently in 1910, witnessing a huge hurricane? And if so, why is she just sitting there like, oh, hey, oh. Oh, oh, that's the end of the game, guys. Nope. That was so surreal. Famously called film, Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now... Can you, you give me an example bitch. of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white. fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Mueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Oh, found the class know-it-all. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those... Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? To me forever to class how to figure out the whole in-game action system. Sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Let's seriously though, check everything out. I could frame any my little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. A moment of desperation, and any one of you could do that to me. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century, but I like it old school. That's cute. Just keep it. She had a brilliant eye. I do love my analog camera. She could have taken another I should take a quick picture now. I have to oh God, please no. I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer uh, Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And it, shh, shh, I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please 
Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Ah, it's a French painter from the 1800s. Daguerreau, I think his name was. What? Oh well, know, this will find out. But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Whoa, dude. Is there anybody here Calm who down. knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process ah, that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine You will die. Faces. I will make sure of it, and I hope you and your little blonde bitch on. friend there do too. The first American Daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> that was funny, actually. I see you. I see you pretend not to see me. Now let's go check out blonde bitches shit. Victoria does even her school books are gift wrapped. Oh. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Well, I did not mean to cut that out, so sorry. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Well, she is a blonde, preppy bitch, so. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Hey. Oh, a fifty-three hundred dollar camera. I cannot justify spending fifty-three hundred dollars on a camera. Good God! Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Nerd alert! Nerd alert! Nerd alert, nerd alert. Okay, I'm done. Uh, oh, poster. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Uh, I bet I can check out every single poster in this place then. Oh, Lord. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Fairly fucking cool. Oh my god. I have zero interest. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Indeed. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Ah, uh, you won't suck. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Obviously. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Oh, that's beautiful. I wonder who that is. Hold on, before I speak to you, let's see what this was. It's got thrown at you. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Huh. Well, that's just senseless. Why would they do that? Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. God, no wonder she's fucking sad. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. That's so stupid to treat her like that. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Oh, photo option. Okay, neat.
why, I don't know, but, and that was an achievement. Okay, well. Uh, I don't even want to talk to her. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one Boom. of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, um, is there no secret options up here that shoot? Um, hey, mini money, mo, blah, 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 blah. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. That's what separates the artist from the amateur. That was actually pretty profound. Wow. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else to check out. You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's kind of ominous and foreshadowing. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. No, that's ominous and foreshadowing. That's where we started out. Ooh, TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HD TV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Neat. Oh, camera. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He Whoa. probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Uh, 20 grand. Okay, that little $5,300 camera is looking better right now. Alright, that's about it for this episode, guys. We're going we're gonna to cut it off right here. Alright, uh, if y'all like this video, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll have more of it up soon. And as always, stay salty. Nerd alert! Nerd alert!